How's it going, everybody? Today I'm gonna play some Willix. Who's the target? Uh, let's use let's use this skin again. I love this skin. We're up against a Danza Burrow. I don't know why I've been seeing so many Danzas. It's like I don't think Danza's insane, insane. He's still a hunter, so it's still pretty good. But I've been seeing a lot of Danzas. Anyways, for those that don't know, uh, one of my non-guardian dual gods, or yeah, non-guardian dual gods that I'm, I feel like I'm somewhat good at is Willix. And I actually kind of want to try Bumba's hammer on her. I've never, I've just done it once, but that was before they buffed the tier one. So it is might be worth going class? to tier one item now. Um, because I'm trying to get away from bluestone of Willix because it, it helps with clearing, but you can't do too much fancy stuff with it. Plus the dot makes it so you have to wait longer before blink blinking and stuff. But generally, bluestone's pretty good on a Wilx. Uh, I just want to try something different today. But yeah, a Wilx is one of my specialty gods. It's not a guardian. Uh, and I love playing her on this map specifically. Let's see, is he at red buff? He is. I could blink on him and get a huge amount of damage here. Is he actually going for this? You're insane, dude. It's this one, right? It's not that one. <laughs> You're insane, Dad's ready to go for that that red buff after using all your abilities, and I'm right standing right there. There we go. He's also going mannequins Ikvo, which is pretty standard on pretty much all hunters right now. An upgrade, I definitely. Even though. Uh, Ikvo got nerfed. Or Ikvo, however you want to say it. Okay, so we got a nice first blood to start this game out. Um, one thing I really like doing on a Willux is if I can get my ultimate, okay, and I can stand here after, or stand here after he recalls, I can time my three with over the wall to knock him up when he doesn't know it, and then, uh... Get some get some kills from it. It's one of my favorite things to do on this map. The other maps I didn't like playing a Wilkes as much because they don't have spots like that. But this map does. So what I want to do is I want to try to pressure him to recall, but then also still be in lane for you know in lane for it to see where he is and all that. So I don't want to get out sustained. Okay, I have my blink here. Bad. Bad. I think he's gonna trap me. Oh, he actually turned into it. I messed up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, we'll just go back. No worries. Play that a little sloppy. It's all good. It's all good. We, we're still a ahead for the most part or right, we will be once we take this these buffs and stuff for the delay and stuff hope y'all are doing good hope your friday's going good and saturday sunday as well i don't know if this will go up on friday which is damn recording it or after okay that's funny <laughs> i wasn't gonna ult him because i was like oh he's just one auto attack away and then it didn't kill him so it's like okay i'm ulting and then he died anyways <laughs> That's a shame because if I had my ultimate, I could do the I could do the thing behind blue buff right now, but I used it anyways. Oh well. Right, time to recall. Let's get transcendence. Is this my he still doesn't have his ikkaibal. Uh, Ica, uh, Ica, I always say ikkaibal. I don't know if it's ikkaibal or ikkaibal. Oh, I can hear his laugh. <laughs> I can hear the laugh on the skin. So I know exactly where he's going. Oh my goodness. I've never paid attention to that for that skin, actually. Because it does that voice line almost every time. I don't know if default Danza Burrow, uh 
make so much noise. Definitely don't want to get taunted. Knock him up. Okay, pretty sure he's this one. Please up, please up, please up. No. Unlucky. Unlucky. That's all right. We still have got our ultimate and pretty much everything else. By the way, I'm building into breastplate. I kind of don't need breastplate because we're going to have full cooldown with Bumpus Hammer Transcends anyways, but the cooldown's so important until level 20 that I, I might as well just build it. And then late game, we can sell it. This, this cooldown's so important. Oh, well, it's cool enough. Before it is. Freaking out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why. With my keyboard, sometimes I'll press a button and it'll have like a half a second delay. It's very rare. But once it does it, it does it for like about a second and then it fixes itself. Don't know why it does that. Oh, also, I don't know if I told you guys, but I kind of fixed my RAM issues that I had with my PC. Uh, I was having RAM issues and my PC was blue screening and a bunch of other stuff. So I ran some memory tests, found out that one of my RAM sticks in my PC um was faulty so i took that one out and now i'm just using one and everything's running just fine um i'll, pr I'll probably replace it at some point but i kind of don't need the extra ram um unless i plan on doing more intensive stuff like and stuff uh -oh. oh i tried to turn around I was going to turn around auto attack twice and then feather step. I should have just feather step right away. But yeah, uh, for the most part, my one stick of RAM can handle streaming and recording. Uh, I don't know about streaming and recording at the same time. Uh, I mainly got the two, uh, the extra RAM, the extra 16 gigabyte stick, mostly because uh, I used to do a lot of Unrunge and stuff, and when you're rendering an Unrunge, it gets very intensive, like extremely intensive, and I haven't been able to do any of that ever since high res changed how the game files are stored for the game. Oh, that's a shame. Because I used to do Unrunge and animations with Smite models. That's a shame. Nice. And I miss doing them. I really do. But um, they changed how the game files are stored and now they're compressed. And it's really difficult to get the swipe models and the textures for them. Which makes me sad because I really want to have a really cool moment for one of my montages. But kind of like how I did for the last one. It's just really difficult to do now. Okay. Uh, don't know where he is. Well, it's up in eight seconds, by the way. I really want to get one, uh, one blind blink over there, but don't know if it'll happen or not. We go stone cutting. Stone cutting is really nice on Wilkes. And second relic, a beats could be nice. A sunder would be all right. Aegis, I don't know. There's a lot of options we got. Like beats would be nice for when he does get the taunt, which is not gonna happen often, but it will happen now and then. That's all good. I, will I actually have a ward, so there's no reason not to use the ward to wait for him. Unless he comes this way first. Get 
get in front of his rocket because that's his escape. Yeah, if you're against Danza and he's using the rocket for escape, just walk in front of it, honestly, if you're winning the fight big time. Like, there's some ultimates you don't want to do that for because <laughs> they'll actually turn and kill you. But with Danza Burrow, if you're, if you're winning the fight, just stand in front of it. It doesn't do that much damage. Now, if you're losing the fight, don't do that. <laughs> Nice little damage there. Does he know I'm here? Count on me. Oh, come on. I want one over the wall ultimate this game. Just one. Oh, I tried to backstep him there. That way I could get a knock up. It did not work. Didn't think he would still be chasing. Charles, are you alright? You need to rest. Okay, he lived way longer than I thought he would. <laughs> oh man, I, there's a bunch of things in my mind. I was like, okay, how do I kill him? Because I wasn't, I wasn't actually gonna try to run away and recall. Once, once he was, like, actually playing aggressive, I was like, no, no, no. How do I turn this around and kill him? And that was one way. There's a lot more other ways it could have gone, but glad it went well. It's a lot more fun when it does. All right, I'm, I'm going to get an Aussie because, I mean, not an Aussie, a Brawler's Beat Stick. Because even if he gets, if he doesn't get Aussie, um, the anti heal is still useful for his two and just HP5 and Chalice, so... It's a really good item. It's got great stats, so I'm still going to build it. Should be able to kill him. Stand in front of the ult, so you can't get away. Okay, well, I can't fight in the Tom. He's dead for 20 seconds. Come on, Mignones. Faster, faster. Maybe he's locked so slow. Actually, just gonna ult for this Phoenix. Super good for taking objectives. Yeah. If I didn't ult, I don't think I would have taken it. He looks ult gives knock up immunity, gives attack speed. Uh, what else does it give? It gives power. Oh, I forget about that. It gives 60 power. Wow. Salt is so good. An upgrade, I definitely need it. Okay, um, I'm gonna get. Oh, he still doesn't have a second relic. As we all know, when your opponent doesn't get your second relic, you want to hold on to yours because you want to counter them. And then if you're ahead. You especially want to do so because they're the ones who are pressured right now to get a relic. You're not. So. Probably went the other way. Oh, I thought he would keep walking. I was kind of estimating how long it would take for him to walk by the wall. I was just going to throw it out before he even got there. I don't think I'm gonna get the behind the wall thing now that his Phoenix is down, by the way. I can blink behind him and kill him. Pretty easily, actually, too. Uh, okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> well, don't do that. Yeah, that was that was a little, a little iffy. Um, you know what? 13 minute game. I might try to get another second Wilkes game in par perhaps, mayhaps. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to record one if it's... Uh, we'll see how that goes and if it can fit it in. Uh, let's see. Let me show the scoreboard before we go to the next one. There it is. Alright, here we are with a, a Wilkes versus Baron game. Gonna try to go... Oh, I don't know. Tainted still might be good here. Baron has a lot of healing, and it kind of stops him from going the... There's there's a build that a lot of Barons will go, which is like triple quad defense with like 
cooldown and it works because of his heal and it's really weird but it's actually super annoying to fight so i don't know i think actually starting a tainted steel here might be good the only thing is my mana sustain is going to suck in the early game uh but i think it's a good idea for the mid for the early mid and late game just to make sure he's not healing too much uh before i get brawlers and stuff like that so yep that's what we're doing. We will try to box him here. Dodge his ability. A lot of people don't know this, but on a Willix, you can use the Feather Step without auto-attacking. You can use it after using your 1 and the 3. So, even there, even though I couldn't hit the auto, I could still dodge the abilities. Which is good, because I got more poke than him, but... Had to use some of my mana. That's all right, because we have mana potions. I should be able to clear faster than him and then pressure the heck out of him. Oh, I missed the three. He got too close to me. That's okay. Uh, definitely get... I don't know if I take all the minions here, but... Yeah, he's... He's, he's wandering. He's wandering over here. Oh, I let him get the heal. That sucks so much. Because I poked him out already a ton. And look at that. At the, I already got to leave. I already have to leave because he's uh, full health of mana. <laughs> I'll have to give him red buff. I got the minis from red buff, though. As long as we don't die. Hardest thing about fighting Baron is if you don't have an escape... Having to deal with his ultimate is really tough. Luckily, we do have an escape on Wilix. I also have Root Immunity in my ultimate. Um, so, the type of build I think I'm going to go for here is... This is how I play a Wilix versus Vulcan. Is I go an auto-attack build with Hasten Katana. And I essentially just get right next to them. Alt, and then I just hold left-click and go forward. Because he has no way of getting me away from him. Because if I alt and he tries throwing his snake out nope that won't affect me because i'm rooting you if he tries ulting i mean ulting would kind of work but then i could just pop beads but yeah for the entire duration of my ult i would just be slapping him that's kind of the idea kind of the idea oh he's, he's staying on the other side of the lane he knows he knows too much Again, I don't want him to ult. If I chase there, uh, he just ults and pulls me into his tower. Being hit by his ult's not that bad. It's only bad if it's, he's under an objective. And I don't have my escape. Oh, he never took red buff, by the way. Darn. I'm actually stealing a little bit of his potions, which is funny. So I can get this red buff, because he never took it. Should, should have enough time to take it. Come on, it's going to be close. It was close, okay. I can actually pick that up in two seconds. Okay. Again, on a Willix, you usually don't want to leap. Very rarely do you want to. Uh, because it's it's a lot more useful to have a Wilix ready or a Suku ready whenever you want. And just using it for the movement speed. Than using the leap. The leap's kind of meh overall. Very few situations where you use the leap. Like I think I used it earlier and honestly I shouldn't have even used it. Just use it for the movement speed. It does use mana uh, when you activate the ability. But it's super worth just using and then right clicking to cancel. That way you have the cooldown. It's, it's just basically your lifeline. Okay, what I want to do is I want to push him out and then have him come back to the lane. But I don't want to ult. I don't want to ult. Like here, if I leap on him, it might be worth it because I have my beads. Because I can do a huge amount of damage to him. I have you now. Okay, I wasn't able to do as much as I had hoped, but, you know, 
Also, his attack speed reduction there was a little tough. Hmm. He's already got 30% cooldown. He's already got 30% cooldown. Yeah, no. I, I can't push him out quite yet. Uh, I am going to go into a Brawlers. Normally, I would go defense here, but Tainted still gives a little bit of defense. And I, I just want some more pen and power right now. So I think Brawlers is a nice choice. I can either go into a Bulwark or a Pestilence. Uh, I think a Bulwark will actually be fine because I already got Tainted Steel for Anti Heal. Could also go Shoguns. Shoguns would be incredible. Might be even better because it gives some cooldown. Unfortunately, he's always in a range where it's really difficult to get to. Always in that little... Past this line, it's difficult to commit to him. And he knows it. Let's see. It's like even now I could try leaping on him. Oh, I didn't get my second auto attack because he has attack speed reduction. Awkward. Awkward. He's actually in my tower now. Oh, I wanted to save my ult, but... I wanted to save my ult, but... Might as well get first blood, right? Plus, I get a bunch of buffs out of that, too, so that's really good. If I had my ultimate, I'd be able to pull him over the wall there. Because he was targeting the wall. Okay, missed his ability. That's good. I only, I didn't actually have to beat there, but I beat because I thought I, I was actually going to get hit. And I didn't want to get stunned for even a little bit. I might be able to kill him here, actually. Yeah, if he dives, I should have to dodge a root. Or leap the root. I did not dodge a root. Oh my god, no. Okay. There is no cheating in this game. Well, it's down for 10 seconds. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay, it works. It's fine. It's all good. All good. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it because I'm two and O oh, and I wanna I wanna get it. I wanna get the <laughs> the fun kill. And his alt and his beats are down. So let's see. I might miss it. But it's always fun to go for. Or if he comes this way, that'll be bad. And there it is! Yay! Yeah, yeah, so you basically see them in this little hallway, kind of in your mind, count where they're walking, because everyone just kind of walks at a constant pace. Throughout the three, you see the number go up, you all you pull them, you get them. GG's. Um yeah, that one was a short one. Uh, I, I'd say it's fine since I wrap it up with the other game combined as well. Uh, but yeah, GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you, you know, enjoy that Wilkes trick on this map. It's very fun to do. Obviously, if your opponent knows about it, they're going to ward for it or they might not hug the wall. Like if you're against a Wilkes, you should never hug the blue buff wall if you don't know where she is. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.